If you want to build a profitable Pilates studio business, you've got to understand the basic math of your business model. Choosing the right business model has the single biggest effect on your profit of any decision you will make as a studio owner. I'm going to walk through some simple numbers with you to show you how to literally triple the profits from your Pilates studio, or more than triple in many cases. Stick with me and try not to glaze over, I will make it worth your while, I promise. We're going to look at how which equipment you choose and how many people you have in your sessions makes a truly massive difference to how much money you take home from your studio. For example, if you have 12 reformers in your room at $25 each client, that is a maximum of $300 per class revenue. Put aside $65 for the instructor and you have a gross profit of $235. Now, that's almost double what you're probably paying your instructors, but you're still making a gross profit of $235. For six reformers, on the other hand, at $25 per client for a full session, your revenue is $150 or half. Take away only $35 for the instructor, leaving the instructor with about half the money of the previous scenario, and your gross profit is $115. Put in a Cadillac chair and barrels and you can run a group of three and charge $45 per client for total revenue for a full session of $135. Pay the instructor, again, just $35 and you've got a $100 gross profit. Or teach a one-on-one -on -one session on that equipment and you can charge the client $85. Take out $35 for the instructor and you've made $45 gross profit. In the real world, however, if you have plenty of clients, your schedule will max out at around 80% of utilisation. Even if your sessions are fully booked and waitlisted, people still no-show and reschedule at the last minute. So let's look at a real-world 80% utilisation scenario for each of these sessions. 12 reformers at 80% utilisation is an average of 9.6 clients per session. Even if you pay the instructor nearly double the usual rate at $65, this equates to $175 gross profit per session. Six reformers at 80% capacity is 4.8 clients per session on average. At $25 per client, that's $120 revenue. Take away $35 only for the instructor. That leaves you $85 of gross profit. For your three-on-one session, 80% utilisation is 2.4 clients on average per session. And if you pay the instructor $35, this leaves you with $73 of gross profit. For individual sessions, assuming clients show up 80% of the time, your average revenue per session is $68. Take out $35 for the instructor and you're left with $33 of gross profit. So in the real world, your gross profit from 12 reformers is $175, 6 reformers is $85, three-on-one small groups is 73, and individual sessions is 33. Multiply this by 30 sessions per week for the studio, and you get a gross profit of 12 reformers, giving you $5,250 a week in gross profit. Six reformers generates $2,550 a week in gross profit. Three-on-one sessions generate $2,190 in gross profit, and individual sessions will generate $990 in gross profit. Now, multiply this by 48 weeks in the year, giving you four weeks off a year for vacation, and 12 reformers returns a gross annual profit of $252,000. Six reformers gives you $122,000. Three-on-ones give you $105,000, and one-on-ones, $47,000. Now, we have to calculate your fixed costs before we can figure out exactly how much you'll have left over in your bank. Fixed costs include things like studio rent, marketing, software, insurance, phone systems, repairs and maintenance, leasing of equipment, bookkeeping, cleaning, etc. Let's say these add up to around $50,000 per year. We can now calculate your net profit, that's your actual profit, by taking the fixed costs from your gross profit. And here's what we see. 12 reformers, net profit is $202,000. Six reformers net profit is $72,000. Three on one sessions net profit $55,000 and one on one sessions a net loss of 2000 
Now, these numbers are pretty rough as you'd probably have lower fixed costs if you're only doing one-on-one sessions as you'd have a smaller space and less equipment lease. So you might make a small profit on the one-on-one sessions, but the difference would be in the single digits of thousands of dollars. Instead of a loss of $2,500, you might end up making a profit of three dollars to $5,000 for the year on one-on-ones. Now, compare that to $200,000 net profit. That's actual cash in your bank account at the end of the year for the 12 reformer scenario. And don't forget, you've paid your instructors almost double in that scenario, meaning you can attract and keep the best instructors. Now, I'm not here to tell you that running a small group of six reformers is bad or that you shouldn't do it. You get to do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. I'm here to help you understand the math. The key thing is most of your costs are fixed. So every additional reformer you add brings in $21,000 in profit at the end of the year, even if you're only running 30 sessions per week at 80% utilisation. One reformer equals $21,000 in your bank account at the end of the year. On the flip side, now you understand that by choosing to run only six reformers instead of 12, you're losing $130,000 this year in cash profit you could have had in your bank. Just imagine what the numbers will be like with 15 reformers in the room. So if it is important to you to make money and to be financially successful and to be able to afford to pay your instructors well, you understand what you need to do.